Hello everyone, welcome back to Asha.academy. Let me take you through report writing today. What is a report? A report is a description of an event or an investigation of an issue or a problem. So here you'll be writing all about what you have heard, seen, done or studied. You'll be writing it in past tense especially here. There are two types of reports. The very first one is newspaper reports involving accidents and then the second one is reports on events or functions. So this is what um, has been given here under CBSE. Report for a new newspaper. So what is the usual subject of a report which is given there in the newspaper it's all about political news sports news crimes accidents natural disasters like earthquake what is the format of a report the very first thing headline or title and byline opening paragraph that is the very first paragraph then the second and third paragraph which give details of the report here of the very first paragraph and then conclusive statement while writing a report you need to have all these features in your mind it must be factual you shouldn't add any information on your own at all and it should be written in indirect speech that is in reported speech and then preferably passive voice then you have to give a third person's point of view avoid using pronouns like i me or you and most important thing is you need to write it down in past tense and you shouldn't give any uh, of your personal opinions at all then title byline so here byline which means that whether it's been written by a correspondent of the newspaper or reporter of the newspaper then all the necessary information must be present. What is that information here, necessary information? It should answer the questions like what, when, where, why, who, and how. And finally, eyewitness. See, you haven't seen that accident or incident. So in that case, you need to collect the information from the onlookers or the passers-by or the spectators. So that comes under eyewitness the very first type what is that very first type newspaper report related to accidents so you need to answer the questions like what happened when did it happen why did it happen where did it happen how did it happen and who was the victim or who lost the life here then loss of life property details of accident site loss of life how many lives were lost due to this accident and what was the amount of property lost here whether two cars or a bus and a lorry whatever it is and details of accident site whether it is on this highway that highway this particular region so the location you need to give it and then police action whether police personnel they have uh, taken any action or whatever it is and then whether inquiry has been initiated here and compensation has been given or will be given later an eyewitness account you need to write down uh, eyewitness account here and then expressions like um, sources said that alleged that according to ministry or party spokesman or according to government sources so these are jar journalistic jargon you need to make use of this one allege that which means that it is supposed to it is said that so they were in the house when the alleged crime took place look at the usage of this word allege because you haven't seen that crime at all yes you got to know from the sources from other sources so here he is being hunted by police for his alleged involvement in several murders so alleged again which means that supposed his supposed involvement here Look at this example, the very first one that is lorry rams into car. This is the title. Avoid using prepositions and articles here. So here, lorry rams into car by Varshini staff reporter. 
So you need to give name and designation followed by month, date, comma, year. So it should be at the uh, end of the, uh, that is by the side of the margin here. Followed by the district, that is Bengaluru or whatever, the district, they give there in the question paper. And then look at the very first paragraph, opening paragraph. This is known to be lead paragraph. So here the very first paragraph should answer what, what happened, when did it happen, where did it happen. So two people were killed and a child. So what happened? An accident, right? Along with two others was grievously injured when an overspeeding lorry hit an XUV in which they were traveling. The accident took place at 10 p.m. So the time has been given here. When? And where? On KASH1 near Dharwad on Monday. When did it happen? Where did it happen? So it has answered the questions like what, when, where. Right? Then the second paragraph. It gives the supporting details. Right? So the lorry driver was driving at a high speed and lost control over the vehicle while trying to overtake a car. So these are all the supporting details here in the order of importance. In a bid to save the head-on collision with the bus, he hit the car in which five people were traveling. The bus was flying from Udupi to Bengaluru while the lorry was coming from the opposite direction on the KASH1 highway when the mishap occurred at 10 p.m. Two people have died on the spot and three have been admitted to Dharwad Government Hospital with fatal injuries. So, extra details have been given here in the second paragraph. And then the third paragraph, the final one. Most of the deceased have been identified, the superintendent of police, Vikram told PTI. So, uh, here the police personnel's words. It was a high-speed collision. The container lorry lost control via it to ascertain if the driver dozed off or the tire burst. The lorry entered the wrong lane and crashed into the KASRTC bus coming in the opposite direction. He said, adding, we are taking the names and details. See, when eyewitness account or the police personnel's account, when they uh, give out a few words, a few statements, it should be written within inverted commas. It should be in direct speech. Then the accident caused a major traffic jam as the lorry and the mangled car locked the road for almost an hour. It was cleared swiftly by the city police. So here is the conclusive statement here. Right? This is how you need to go about accident report then comes a few words have been given here and you need to make use of these words for this worksheet yes fill in the report with the above given words city clogged with water abhishek by abhishek staff reporter and then the month date and year and here is a report with the few blanks you need to fill in these blanks with the right words uh, which you need to select it from the given hello uh, letters or words here right so soon after the completion of this wor worksheet put up your answer in the comment box let me check whether you have given me the right answer or not second type reports on events or functions so here name of the program when and where, objective of the program, description of the program, chief guest, address to audience, price distribution, vote of thanks. So here, reports on events or functions. Assume that you are the school pupil leader and you were asked to write down a report on annual day celebration or uh, sports day celebration or uh, any other functions there, teacher's day or children's day any of the programs like this so in that case what you need to do you need to write down the title so what is the function all about you need to write down annual day or sports day or whatever it is you need to give the name of the program as headline yes 
or you can give any catchy title related to that particular program and you need to write down when and where did it happen in your school of course right an objective of the program to commemorate uh, the birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi yes so what is the objective you need to write it down and then description of the program chief guest so chief guest uh, who uh, who has consented or who has come to that particular program uh, as the chief guest you need to write it down whether it is a renowned uh, dancer or a, a famous artist or whatever it is you need to write it down an address to audience the chief guest must have given a few words uh, he must have spoken to the audience and he must have inspired the younger generation through his speech so those words you need to write it down and then price distribution he must have given a few uh, prizes to the students to the best students or whatever it is you need to write it down there and followed by vote of thanks who proposed the vote of thanks you need to write it down so here again one more example for you so the topic is annual day written by charu lakshmi of 12z so here you needn't worry about the month and date and year for this school magazine report only heading and byline and your class your byline should have your name and class section the very first paragraph so what is that all about it's all about the annual day when did it happen and where did it happen you need to write it down our school conducted annual day on 24th february 2022 which was a sensational occasion for everyone it was held from 5 pm to 9 pm at our school auditorium a colorful marquee was selected for guests and teachers see here children a colorful marquee marquee which means that indian word we do say shamiana right so instead of that one you can go for marquee or canopy c-a-n-o-p-y canopy yes so you can make use of this particular word a colorful marquee was erected for guests and teachers the stands were exquisitely decorated the participants gathered nearby the stage at 3 pm so the very first paragraph talks about what happened when did it happen where did it happen then comes the second paragraph a volley of programs started to take place sharp at 5 pm it started with a devotional song from students of class 12 then it was followed by chief guest by the chief guest speech which inspired the young generation into indian institute of technology as he was none other than ceo of google sundar pichai everyone forgot to wink one's eyes for a while since he captivated everyone with his motivating speech he distributed the best student award to rohit of class 12 as well so this paragraph talks about the chief guest who was the chief guest and uh, whether he addressed to the audience and what was it whether he felicitated the students whether he conferred the title to any of the student all those details and then finally the conclusive paragraph the last paragraph next in line were cultural programs which made students very curious and excited western dance by class 10 was mind-blowing number ultimately the mime show stole everyone's heart as it gave a social message on wearing a helmet to save one's life after which the principal came into the picture to propose a vote of thanks finally the national anthem was played before the end of the program so this paragraph talks about how the programs were and who proposed the vote of thanks and you need to sum it up so finally um, the, the national anthem to wind up the session what happened uh, to to wind up the session finally national anthem was played you can write it down in caps national anthem n n a yes i do believe that children you must have understood report writing thank you children thanks for listening to me patiently please do like share and subscribe Bye bye